Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate how to resize an element. So let's get started. So there is an element on this example website page which can be resized. Let me show you manually first and copy this URL and open this in the browser so that I can demonstrate you manually how you can resize this particular element. So this is the element I'm talking about. And here is an option. You can drag it like this with the help of mouse and it's getting resized. I want to do the same thing with the help of Selenium Python automation. I want to resize this particular element by dragging this and all with the help of Selenium automation. For that, we have to use a command known as drag and drop by offset command. How to use this command? I'm going to practically demonstrate in this session. For that, I'll switch to this PyCharm ID where we already have some Selenium Python code written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window. And this is for opening the application URL. So here I will provide this application URL and paste it here, right? After opening this application URL, after opening that application URL, uh, I need to inspect this element, right click and select inspect option. When I inspect this option, and this, uh, this is a HTML code of this option guys, okay? Uh, let me also look into the selectors up, which will make the things easier for me. Let me inspect this option again. When I inspect this element, you see, Selector sub is clearly saying that it's inside a frame. Here, if you right click also, you are getting frame options. Okay, either without selectors of uh, also, you can find it out. You're getting this frame options means this element is inside the frame. So you already know that uh, we have to switch to the frames in order to interact with this element. Okay, in, in order to automate this element, we have to switch to this particular frame. So what we'll do is, uh, since this particular element is inside a frame, I'll just find out which frame, this is a frame. Okay, it has a class. I'll create an, uh, you see, either the frame should have an ID or name. Otherwise, we have to create an element, web element. So I'll create with the help of this class attribute value, right? I'll create a web element for that. So here I'll simply write down driver dot find element. Okay, driver dot find element by dot. I'll simply say by dot class class name. Okay, comma provide the value like this. And uh, this will be using this class name, we are creating a web element. So here I'll say frame, some frame, I'm just giving some name like frame one or something. Frame one is equal to like that. I'm giving some name, okay, to this particular frame. This is nothing but a web element. I'll first switch to the frame, okay, in order to perform the operation, in order to drag this and all, right, I would first switch to the frame. For that, I'll simply say driver dot, switch to dot frame of, frame of, frame, frame underscore one. Okay, this will switch to the frame. After switching to the frame, what we have to do is, I have to inspect this element and, uh, you know, after switching to the frame, we can interact with this element. So, you see, it's kind of very difficult to create, you know, a kind of uh, proper locator or something. It has a lot of classes here. You see, all the spaces means every class, separate classes. I'll take this one. I'll take this portion of the class and I'll create an XPath expression or CSS selector out of this, which is simple. Right here, I'll say simply say do tag dot give the give one of the class which is there in this class. Okay, now press enter. You see, this element is getting located. This element is getting located. I'll copy this CSS selector. I'll copy this CSS selector of this uh, option and come here and simply write down. So, what I have to do, I have to drag and drop by using offset. For that, we have to create an object for the action chains. Okay, for that, using mouse, I have to do that drag and drop by offset. So for that, I have to create an object for the action chains and uh, I need to pass the driver here and I need to create an object reference that is actions, let's say. And uh, using this object reference, I'll simply say actions dot drag and drop by offset. The first one, you give this element. Which element? This element that you have just now created a locator for, right? CS selector, right? Copy this and create an element here. Driver dot find element by dot CSS selector comma, give the CSS selector. And this is nothing but a drag and drop option, right? I'll simply say DD for now. I'll just give this GD here, DD web element here, comma. And uh, I need to give the X and Y offset. Okay, X uh, X is like, you know, uh, from this side to this side, how much I have to drag. This is X, Y is this one, okay? So let's say I'll give the X as, uh, let's say, 25. I want to drag this X 25, let's say, and Y as 50. I think y is big or small. 
by as 50 let's say okay let's see what will happen i'll give 50 if it if it is out of bounds you know if this uh, range is going out then we can reduce the count later on later words and simply say dot perform and uh, here give time dot uh, for demo purpose i'm just giving some time like uh, you know three seconds or five seconds otherwise five seconds and you know this one before dragging also before performing this also i'll give time dot sleep so that we can see what's happening on the screen and after that i'll quit the browser here driver dot which here i'll give only you know two seconds or something because i should not take so much of time here so run the script run it let's observe what's happening whether it's getting resized or not we have to switch to the frame otherwise it's not going to work in this example at least so here we have switched to the frame and after two seconds you see it got resized right and after five seconds it will close it is working fine okay we can increase the count if you want uh, you can make it 50 and you can make it 100 let's see what will happen in this case right click run the last run 50 and 100 i'm giving just observe that uh, resizable thing element after two seconds you see it got resized right then it will close the browser done so hope guys you understood how to resize an element in selenium python with the help of this command known as drag and drop by offset command so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye bye